people like jump to conclusions on what they saw in terms of the neighborhood in this trailer um that's not the neighborhood but you guys can think whatever you want um I loaded up NBA 2K20 and I was on a search. I looked everywhere that I possibly could. I even went into places that I generally wouldn't even go. And unfortunately, I was unable to find the neighborhood because even though this game has been out for seven months and it's April, there's no way that this can possibly be the neighborhood. But unfortunately, like I said, I was unable to find a new new neighborhood, but I was able to find the best jump shot on NBA 2K20. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JR and today's video, I'm bringing you guys one of the most fire jump shots on NBA 2K20. You guys know the vibes, you guys know I'll be bringing you guys the best jump shots. So I'm gonna show you guys this gameplay, this first gameplay, and then I'm gonna show you guys the actual jump shot. So, so you're gonna see right here, I'm running with my homie Austin and then my homie Baker. They're both in lockdowns. And then you're gonna see right here, I'm basically going up against three lockdowns as well. So at the PG, he was like a two-way mid-range finisher, which was like a build I've never really seen before. And then you see a rebounding guard, and then you also see a shooting glass lock. So you're gonna see throughout this gameplay that I'm gonna ISO this dude three different times because you guys already know how 3v3 matchmaking program is anyway you can literally get matched with the same team over and over again i don't know if it's because nobody's playing it but this lockdown was all over me and you guys are going to see you there's no reason you should be using screens you can literally iso you guys just got to take your time like you see this dude right here he's all over me he's getting all of the good bump animations all he has to do is hit x and it throws me out of my drill moves but you're going to see throughout this gameplay that i'm just extremely patient and then i hit my drill moves that i've already showed you guys multiple times throughout my dribble tutorial vid videos and yeah man so I'm running with my homie Austin and then my homie Baker. They're on two lockdowns as well. And as you guys know, I like to run two lockdowns and we're running three guards basically. I mean, Baker's a 6'7 rebounding guard, so I guess he's more of a hybrid anyway. But I like to run two lockdowns because if a point guard like decides that he wants to like cheese screens, left, right, behind screens, then all we have to do to stop that for the most part is switch. Now, um, the big dude, the center, he might bully a little bit, but for the most part, as long as we don't give up threes, then we're gonna be good. So I, I really like this lineup, and we've actually had a lot of success running this lineup as well. But they're basically doing like running the same type of lineup, except they have an actual center at the three. But 
you're gonna see like i said throughout this gameplay i'm gonna iso these locks it doesn't matter and then it was kind of annoying i can't lie and you see right here i was trying to hit the moonwalk into the behind the back and i've struggled to hit that move i don't know why but i feel like if i'm definitely in my bag nobody's gonna be guarding me low key i was in my bag i just like like i said i haven't been able to hit the moonwalk into the behind the back here here lately consistently and i don't know why but all my other dribble moves you guys already know have been super fire so you see right here i'm trying to take my time be patient and this dude is reaching he's getting all the fire animations and i'm almost out of stamina but you see right here i'm able to get a nice little rim run and a spin move to end the game so this was game one like i said we played these dudes two more times you see i isoed this dude nine for nine and and scored 19 points so like i said that was game one and we matched up against these dudes um two more times throughout the night as well so again that was game one shout out to those boys you guys already know the vibes it's always positive vibes in my videos it's always big ggs and this was actually taken from my stream so i'm sorry that my overlay is kind of blocking the screen just a little bit but yeah man this was a fire game and the second game that i'm about to show you guys after i show you guys the jump shot was a good one as well and then the third game that i played them played them it was more of me like passing the ball to my teammates but for the most part they were just like really crowding the three-point line and making me take twos which was actually really good defense so yeah man that was game one and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the jump shot all right, so here goes the jump shot right here. As you guys can see, it's jump shot 98, release one Rudy Gay, release two Vince Carter. Make sure y'all boys use Hall of Fame quick draw, and then you see the blending. And also shout out to the homie Not Justin Wa for putting me on this jump shot. If you guys would like for me to for me to make a video using your jump shot, then comment down the jump shot down below. And I feel, if I feel like it's gonna be a good one, then I will make a video on it and give you a shout out as well. But yeah, man, there goes the jump shot for y'all boys. All right, so this was game two. Like I said, you can see right here, completely different dude. So right off rip, this dude is still, you know, spamming X all over me. So like throughout this gameplay, like I said, if you're trying to ISO a lockdown, you have to be extremely patient because if you try to like force your way into the lane, then more than likely it's not going to happen, especially against a good lockdown. But you see right here, you guys know the jump shot is fire whenever you hit your full whites, whenever you're not on a hot spot. So you're going to see right here, this was a straight kill. You guys already know that move is so far and I'm able to green this shot as well. And like I said, once I get the takeover, slasher takeover is so cheesy anyway. Like in my opinion, it might be the most overpowered takeover on NBA 2K20. But you guys can let me know what you, what you guys think. So you guys see right here, another green light. That was a pretty clutch shot because the game, this game was actually really close. They were, you know, they stuck with us for the most part. And they're, and like I said, the PG was running like a weird lineup. But you see right here, I hit the half spin into the instant behind the back. And I already knew this dude was gonna jump anyway. So luckily he does jump and I'm able to get a layup. And then at the very end, they cleaned us up pretty much that whole entire possession. But luckily Baker's able to get the rebound and he's able to put it back up. So you see right here, game two, 19 points. I missed a couple of shots, but you know, I was still extremely efficient. So this right here, I believe was the very first game that we played these dudes. So like I said, in this game right here, um, I didn't really score a whole lot. Like I was still going straight isolation. You guys know my vibes, but in this game it was more of my teammates carrying me on offense and defense. So yeah, man, I was just trying to be patient. And then I was dotting my shooters whenever you know they were actually open you see right here i dot baker he hits a pretty contested shot right there i cannot lie that was a pretty lucky shot but you guys already know go Dahmer can be clutch sometimes so you're going to see right here i get a nice ankle breaker on the lockdown and unfortunately i get baited right there i should have easily like that would have been an easy bucket right there so right here shot clock running low and you guys see my cinema is kind of low as well and luckily baker's able to get a, a layup at the last second as well so you're gonna see right here baker also gets another layup so in this in this first game it was 10 to 15 and it wasn't really the really that close like this this prone team had a pretty decent record like i said but it was just hella annoying because they were running three lockdowns man so you got three different players with hall of fame intimidator hall of fame clamps and yeah man i want to make this video first of all to show you guys this fire jump shot because it is extremely smooth but also to let you guys know that you can literally ISO any build no matter who's guarding you you can ISO them man you just got to be patient you know hit your drill moves and 
Yeah, man, be efi efficient because I feel like if I were to use screens against this lineup right here, it wouldn't work very well because all they would really have to do is switch. So, yeah, man, I like ISOing because I get to dictate what I want to do, if that makes sense. But, yeah, man, thank y'all boys so much for all of the support. I, it really means a lot. Drop a like, drop a sub. That's all I have on the day. I'm out. Peace.